Welcome back, Captains. Down here at the New Smyrna boat ramp, the first day of the boating season starts now. Now it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, and you can see all the boats still trying to get themselves in. And this one here with the laser beam comes in, and instantly we figured out something was wrong with it. Now a man in a hat down there on the left, he notices it. This thing's hitting reverse, but it ain't going in gear. But thankfully with that searchlight he's got there, he's able to see where he's going. And he's headed right over there towards that bridge. Well, they jam it in reverse a few times, and you can see old Smokey trying to power up. I guess his thing is on something. He can't get gear. He can't get in reverse. Now, a few of us head over here to give him a hand. Now, a few of us come over here to give him a hand, but take a listen. lost my voice, but maybe they can throw a line or something. Now the captain of the boat has on slides. He's about to do the unthinkable. Have you ever cut yourself on oysters? It's some of the worst cuts you could ever get. Here he comes. And he launches right from that bow rail. That man's got some skills. All them rocks are down there lined up with oysters. Yeah, you wanna, watch out, you're gonna get tore up on them oysters. Oh yeah. Let me take that and I'll throw it over here. No, I don't wanna broke the bow, you know. Okay. No, I don't, no, 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 we'll pull it. Get, Get off the front of the boat. You've got a lot of weight. Look at them things. Yeah, those oysters are going to f*** up. Okay, yeah, if you hear that whining and buzzing, that's the sound of the trim motor getting burnt up. Listen to this thing. Whoever's behind that wheel's got that trim held, and they're burning up that hydraulic motor. Hey, you might want to let off of that uh, trim there. You're going to burn that motor up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No more trim. You're going to... Oh, Jesus. I'm just impressed by the oyster jump, man. That's like <laughs> world record right there. Yeah. Yep. Good, 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 good. They got a line in the back? Yeah, they're Oh. 
Now the man in the hat here, he's getting frustrated. These guys are still panicking. They're about three feet from the dock, and all they have to do is reach out and hand the line. That's it. That's why I don't. That's why I try not to get involved. I'm the owner of the boat. Oh yeah, I know. I get it. I'm just saying. We they are my Nah. Yep, yep, no. We tied off. On the, the only, front. the only that knows something about the boat is me. Yeah. And then it's really hard because you say, "Hey, put this here, put the other thing." Well, I had to take off, but one of the viewers, Matt, was out here still filming. He watched this thing come in here, and these guys still struggled. They about did the fatigue over there on that guide pole, and he's got skill now throwing that line. Look at that. He's got something wrong with a linkage or something's going on with this boat that ain't letting it go in reverse, but I believe drive is working. So he's just got go working. Trailer looks about three feet too deep. But all in all, I'll give them about a one. That's an impressive score when it comes down to new smarter boat ramp. I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, and subscribing. We'll be down here again today, tomorrow, and the next weekend. It's starting to get hot, and we got everybody coming out. They're coming out late, too. You guys want to check out the link in the description? You guys can get some t-shirts, merch, whatever you'd like there. And if you see me down at the ramp, I might have some stickers on me. Got to come early. Thanks for watching.